We are now in a Tesla Model 3 performance and we are in Norway, finally. So, because it's a performance, it's fitted with 20 inch wheels. So this one has Nuken Hakaplita R3 studless tires. Mm, so I will do the 90 kilometers per hour and the 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, today we have five degrees Celsius sunny weather. So uh, it's not much of a winter, it's like late winter. Yeah, but let's test it out yeah and see how it goes all right we are on the move and you see that i checked gps speed and we are cruising at 89 to 90 kilometers per hour and we have to cruise at 91 on the speedometer so as i've seen in other teslas as an x also the speedometer is very accurate yeah so uh is 201 now yeah let's just cruise for a little bit and then turn back to the starting point and see okay we are back at Nebines and the consumption was 171 watt time per kilometer hmm so if we assume 74 kilowatt hours available energy uh, 171 watt time per kilometer will be 433 kilometers of range in winter ish yeah so with harsher conditions, call the temperature, wet road, then of course you have to expect less, but over 400 km in this weather, it's not too bad. Yeah, all right, let's try the 120. Okay, we're back again. So the result from the 120 km per hour test, 218 watt per kilometer. So if we assume again 74 kilowatt hour, that would be 340 kilometers at high-ish speed. That's not too bad again. And you know what the difference between the low speed and the high speed is 27%. And if I compare the result with other cars, they usually have about 40 to 60% increase when they go faster. So this is the strength of Model 3 because it's so small and low and aerodynamic. So it goes and it's more efficient at high speed. The closest one is Ionic, which has about 30% increase. So um, yeah. Um, so I think that'll be it, uh, the range test of Model 3 in Norway, winter-ish. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.